Welcome to my second day on the topic of teamwork or my time. There's a contradictory message that's being sent to our players in our current basketball culture. Many are not aware of it because it's the only way they know how to coach or play the game. Let me continue with my case and then we'll get to the solution. Coaches preach teamwork and hold up team values as the single most important ingredient to being successful. And of course, they're right. However, during practice, uh, in the locker room, maybe even in timeouts, their language betrays them. You'll hear something like this. We're going to run this set or, or this set. And if we don't have something, which is code for if my decisions, my set plays don't work, then you must create something. In other words, the coach is saying, if my plan for teamwork fails, then abandon teamwork, go one on five and try to score. The players who can do this type of thing are highly recruited on all levels. The unspoken message is clear to all players. Here's what they're thinking. I'm supposed to give lip service to teamwork and team values, and I'm even willing to go a pass or two into the offense if that's what it takes to land a starting position and or significant playing time. But my true value lies in my ability to abandon teamwork and choose my time. My time to take over the game and make a big play. Now, unless you think I'm being critical of this type of player, I'm not. I'm saying that there's two messages being sent and they create tension everywhere. I think among teammates is one place. The player is, is supposed to be a team player. They're sold on it and yet they're valued for their ability to spontaneously, spontaneously create a scoring opportunity. Sometimes they choose to abandon the set play because they see an opportunity, but they, they do that too early and the coach subs them out because they didn't run the play, they didn't execute. That's a tension that I want to solve. 